Swag. Niggas in my face, they don't know nothing about me. Swag. Most these niggas fake, I say it loud, say it proudly. Swag. We got money to make, and we don't trust anybody, anybody. There was a lot of artists like on the come up like four years ago within LA. Uh, for example, like Kendrick Lamar, our feature. So when there's so many artists like on the verge, then eventually it becomes it becomes this big movement. So Crenshaw High, ninth grade, left brain went there, and Mike G for my future. And uh, me and Tyler had already, we already knew each other, and we just became growing, and we all built the relationship. And when I was in Temp, we dropped the first Our Future tape. It was um, like 17 songs, and it was like a great experience, like making it and stuff like that, because we used to all be like on the MacBook, just on the MacBook mic, straight into it, recording songs, and Tyler would mix it on GarageBand. I still feel like I'm part of it, because because I started off there, and that's like, I really hold on to it. As it's my past, but it, it crafted, you know what I'm saying, where, where we are today. I had my first headlining show in LA at the Roxy and it sold, it was sold out, it was like a crazy experience. And I brought out a violinist and I just came up with the idea because it was just a real hype song. And I think that's the best thing about music is like incorporating different things in different, different areas of the world and just bringing it all home. It, it just takes it to a whole nother level. I guess to bring back that old sound and just incorporate it with that new just flavor and energy that I like to that I like to give off. Like in the crowd, I like to just have a lot of energy and, and just go crazy and, and show my youth. And you bring back that real hip hop, that hip hop sound and that like the jazz and like violins and then you can bring that together and that's my sound. <laughs> 